Well, it's Raven Tactical here, and I just wanted to put out a couple things that we have done. Um, we had been working on the chicken coop, and we have been working on a couple things like that. Um, so, some things that we did with the chicken coop is we ran power to it so that during the winter months that we can actually have the power to have a small space heater if and when, I should say, the temperature drops below zero. Um, as far as chickens surviving in that, the, the coop is insulated to a point, but um, it, it can get pretty brutally cold out here. We've had temperatures in the negative 40s for like a week or so. Um, it also runs their waters so they can have a, excuse me. It also runs their water heaters so that they can have, uh, they don't have frozen water. So with that and a couple other things that we were doing, um, I took some time off. Um, I also was going to get a set of cameras set up for it for myself. Um, but the reality with it is I wound up having to buy a tablet instead because the tablet, um, my old one was destroyed and I didn't have the time to, or resources to get both. So I'm using kind of a new tablet and the way the camera's set up, it's not where I would want it to be. So it's kind of weird to try to look at yourself while filming this. Um, one big thing was that I did get back involved with the scriptures and I'm on, my goal is to read the entire Bible. I don't know what the time frame for it would be, but the entire Bible will get read. It's, it's the scriptures edition. So if you're not familiar with Bear or like Shield Bear of Faith, it's a very Torah observant Bible. And um, I'm not Torah observant by any means right now. Um, I don't have an issue with anybody that is or isn't, and I don't think you're wrong for not being Torah observant. Um, for as far as my concern with it, and I don't really have one, it's just that I I enjoy this, the, the way the Bible in the Torah Bible, at least the scriptures is set up. Um, and some way the wording is done. It's kind of a closer translation to Hebrew. Um, also with, with that of doing devotions um, in the morning too. And it's been amazing in a way where you can tell the difference between, um, you know, I feel a difference between not doing it on a normal basis to doing it every day. Um, I'm here at work, um, I do, you know, we get put up in a hotel room or I go to a, a, a buddy, a co-worker's house, but he, would, he wasn't really working with us this Saturday. So um, with that, it's been nice. It's been a, a, a focus point for getting up, um, getting into the word of the Bible, reading a little bit, and then going into devotions which kind of helps center your day. Um, the, the stress levels and things that are, that are going on are always there. Um, so it's been different. Um, I enjoy it, I feel a little bit calm, um, and I recommend it. I would recommend if you want some peace in your life, this is one way to do it. I don't think you can really find true peace without it, but that's up to you on that point. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, uh, hopefully this works pretty good. I was really hoping to have a decent camera at this point. Um, let's see. Well, Christmas is coming up and we're kind of working towards getting through that. Um, but the other thing, I guess, spiritually, we were led as a as a May group to start our own church. And it kind of goes back to what the f original churches were. It goes back to what the original churches were. It was a group of people who were Christians meeting in someone's house, essentially. They met in the house. They were able to um, read the Word of God. Nobody was a math, you know, nobody was a quote unquote perfect, you know, 
theology driven preacher who went to college and had all these things and, and look, the theology is there um, we do have someone who actually is who went to seminary school and did that but what we're doing is following kind of the Pastor Joe Fox method where everybody is getting a chance to lead once a week and it's on a rotation basis between the homes and it's been nice and it's it's taken off where I would say it's like I think it's how churches should be um, we're not worried about a 401c tax exempt status so we're not worried about talking politics at our church there's no money involved so it's kind of a it it's kind of interesting because that's kind of what drove the church our little group to start was we were tired of going to church and nobody would talk about what's going on in this world and that's the issues I have with it it's like well you have the world on fire and you're not willing to talk to your congregation of how to find hope in this world on fire or get through it or the struggles that we face um, and part of it's due to the fact that as a as a country we haven't had to have too many struggles as a Christian we've been blessed but not acknowledging it or not acknowledging that there's government tyranny with this involved that um, you're not seeing it or people like us see it now and people in our old congregation which wasn't a very big church is maybe a hundred to two hundred people they started to see it too but uh, the leadership were kind of refused to acknowledge it and I see that across the board for most churches you know big small or large and you're starting to see people get upset with that and leave the church and I recommend and I recommend that within your mad groups excuse me just start with some Bible verses start with some things start with just reading the scripture reading through it and I, I just recommend that you find it um, because really the, the whole point of preparedness and all this is was great I believe God gives us the foresight or the dreams or the prophesying of that and some of us seen it some of us open our eyes before and I think that's what God puts in your heart whether it was five ten years ago or 20 years ago and so with that um, I, I would say start it out I mean if you still want to go to your bigger church and then do this on the side and use it as kind of like a Bible study go for it um, I would say just you know have kind of a central plan for that night you know take some time and then just go through it and then discuss it also like try to have like a focal point so you don't go down rabbit holes during it but then at the end of it you know pray about it do that and then go go through your rabbit hole kind of things if you feel that there's a calling for X or a calling for Y then so be it so this is Raven Tactical signing off I'm hoping the video turned out okay I mean with the new setup we have with this little uh, tablet camera have a good day.